Welcome to Rotary Matters on 92.7 Arrow FM and uh, also on Wairarapa TV. I'm Marilyn Buzade and over the next hour I'll be bringing you some news about the activities of my Rotary Club which is the Rotary Club of Masters and South. Our club along with the other three uh, Wairarapa clubs and the are in District 9940, which extends as far as um, far north as New Plymouth. And in fact, we have 545 uh, districts worldwide, so it is certainly an international organisation. Um, well, it's the start of another year, but for us Rotarians, it's actually the middle of our year because we actually... Uh, started with our president's change over last June. So the Rotary year goes from June to June. I'm delighted to have two fellow Rotarians with me in the studio today, and uh, they're going to be talking about two of our uh, major fundraising activities. So Michael Blundell and Dick Hodson, welcome gentlemen. Thank you. And um, they're going to be talking about our Masterton Mini Putt and the Sunday Market. But first of all, perhaps uh, you guys might like to sort of say something about, you know, how did you join Rotary? What was it all about and how long have you been in Rotary? You've been longer than me, I know that. Pretty sure. What about you, Dick? Yeah, I've been, <clears throat> I've been a member now for 10 years. Um, I was a farmer out at Gladstone and uh, when I sold the farm and moved to town... Um, Michael here approached me and said he was already a member of Rotary and asked me if I'd be interested in joining Rotary and I and was interested and um, the reason I joined was not only to meet a whole lot more new people that I wouldn't have come across otherwise and um, to serve the community and uh, do some constructive projects around town to enhance the town. Yes. Uh, since then I've been involved in the Sunday market uh, assisting in the um, food bank collection, uh, remedial reading. Uh, just just, it, just um, remedial reading, just just a little bit about that. Where's that one at again? That's uh, remedial reading at the Marston Intermediate yep. School. Uh, and I've also been involved in planting at the Millennium Reserve. Yes, that's going very well, I believe. It yeah, is, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a real asset, that place, and not many people know about it. No, I know. It's a hidden gem. Yeah. It really is. And it's up the... It's Hillcrest Street, isn't it? Yep. On the corner of Hillcrest, mm. yeah. Mm. So, it's, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's keeps keeps me occupied. Yeah, it's good. And, and we meet every every week and have a meal, and there's good fellowship, and mm. yeah, it's a good it's thing great. to be involved in. And um, Mickey... What about you? Well, like Dick here, I sold my farm to my eldest son and it took us two years from the time we sold it to get into town because I was actually the, at that time still the Carton District Councillor and so I kept my uh, interest in that. I got to town and a very good friend of mine by the name of John Waddington, who's in Rotary, cornered me one day and said, um, you've got absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> you can, you, a typical John. <laughs> you, you can join our Rotary Club or come along anyway and see how it um, fits in with what you might be doing or wanting to do. And I must say that I haven't regretted one day of being in oh, Rotary God. Club. And how long ago was that one? Would you uh, say? 15, or six, 15 years ago, yeah. Oh, yes. Been yeah. Been in town 15 years. Yeah. 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 And like Dick, I've. Uh, been part of all the activities that are going on because when I joined I was probably a bit younger than some of them and so I had more energy <laughs> <laughs> and you if you if a project came up yeah. you were the first to be shoulder tapped or told to get the hill crest or do something here yeah, yeah actually yeah, but I've I've noticed because I've been in I think I'm 10, 12 years, 11 years or something like that that I've been in. And I that's some, one thing that I was just thinking, you know, when I'd asked you two to, to come along and talk, I thought, it's typical. I only have to ask to to do this or anything. There's always people who will volunteer, put their hands up. And I think it's a wonderful thing about the club. I really do. Mm. Yeah. 
well, you soon get noticed if you are sitting down the back and you haven't put your hand haven't up. Haven't put maybe. your hand up. Yeah, but it's good. No, that, yeah, that, excellent. That's excellent. So I thought we might start with a little bit about the um, the mini putt. Now, this is um, this mini putt. I'm sure that people know where this is, but it is at the um, Queen Elizabeth Park. So, um, tell me, tell me what you know about it, Mickey. Well, I can tell you a lot now. Yep, good. Okay, um, go ahead. Well, I've, I've done a bit of research, and we are actually now in our forty-fourth year. That's of, amazing. I didn't realise it was so long. Um, <clears throat> Nineteen seventy-nine started, and it was the brainchild of one of our Rotarians, uh, Blythe King, who had happened to be in Australia somewhere or overseas, and he saw many putts in operation. And he decided that we needed one in Masterton. And from that day onwards, we've progressed steadily upwards. And the amazing part about it is we've only had two managers in the 44 years it's been in operation. It's incredible. Yeah, rather, yeah. yes. And we are now, at right at this moment, um, in the process of appointing a new mem a new ma a manager. manager yes and from that on um, when we looked at our mini putt about t two months ago we decided that it needs a complete revamp so that all the gardens are going to be either pulled out or completely done up all the putting green services f surfaces are going to be redone and then also um, if you go to the mini putt you'll see there's only two colours there other than green shrubs or whatever you've got green and grey concrete and it's not an attractive looking place mm, mm. so we're going to do or plan to do some painting of the mini putt surrounds oh that'd be good yeah, yeah. Mul multi-colour place yeah oh lovely yeah and yeah, yeah the the thought is that we've got to make it attractive and appealing when you come through the, the mini putt gate and it'll be made more entertaining as well. Oh, that'd be great. Yes. Yeah. And so um, that will probably be something that the club members... Um, Mickey, I wonder if you could just move slightly to your right because then with your... With your no, you're not quite coming on camera. It seems to be me on the camera all the time, which is a bit boring. But... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, that will probably be done by members of the club or not? I know. The, the carpet, we are uh, getting quotes from carpet companies. For, oh, for the green for part. The greens. Yeah. But we'll, we'll be involved in pulling up the old um, felts that are there. And then they come in and they have to, if they have to resurface, if it's got rough or it needs whatever it needs to get it up to speed. And also... Um, when it comes to the gardens, we hope to fit the garden um, refurbishment in before we do the the carpets. Oh, I so see. Got yeah. One, yeah. one completely out of the way. So mm. one of our club members will be in charge of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they'll be, uh, will they mostly be um, um, natives and things well, like we've that? we've had or, natives. Or, yeah. They've got, they, I don't know how long they've been there, but they've got stringy and untidy. And what we don't need is shrubs that burst out and flower at different times of the year. So it looks the whole place looks far more attractive. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? it yeah, would be. yeah, true, yeah. true. So it's it's uh, progress in hand. Mm. We've just got to move it forward. Well, it's going to be difficult to move it at a great pace because um, you want to keep the mini putt open at the same time. Yes, true, yeah. true, yeah. So uh, we all organise ourselves on to, say, a Monday or a Tuesday when Mini Putt isn't open uh, most of the time, or some of the time anyway. And how many, how often is it open? Is it open every day? Every day? No, uh, it depends on, the operator can open at what days they mm. prefer, but in uh, times of Easter and like Jan, uh, December, January and February, it was going to be open all day, every day. Mm -hmm. February has been a total disaster. Oh, because it had a lot of rain, hadn't it? Yeah, yes. Rained out. But uh, December 
in January were very, very good, uh, great patronage mm. uh, all the time. That's yep. great. <coughs> and I can't even remember how many how many holes are there. 18, 18 holes. That's right. Yeah, I know. I've 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 done it, but not very well. <laughs> well, we t- we we are thinking that we're going to get people, firms, or even people, to um, sponsor a hole. They buy the privilege of having their name on the hole, and oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, all the expenses maybe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and th- there's just little things we've got to do to just make it easier for people. Mm. And one of them is when you're playing, you've got a, a score sheet. Mm. Well, what do you do when you're playing? You put it on the ground. Yes, that's right. Yes. So I, I've seen uh, two other mini putts. One's Taupo and uh, Hastings. They've just got a little stand with a clip on it. So you just poke your score sh- card or your sheet under that, play the hole, fill it in, and then move on. That's oh, that's a good idea, idea isn't that's it? That's a good idea. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. yeah. So there's small things. That's going, these things aren't going to be cheap, of course, because no. we'll get there. But um, so what would be the sort of the, the average price that I can't remember? Because we pl- I played there when we've actually had a, um, you know, a road tree yeah. club sort of night. Yeah. Well, it's eight dollars for adults, mm. seven for gold card members, mm. and five for children. Oh, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. And there is thought of a family pass. Mm. So we, we, you, we've just got to work our way through how we uh, attract bigger crowds or yeah. more crowds. Yeah. Mm. And it's um, it, the the funds go to any of our. Com- you know, community oh, well, projects. Yeah. yeah, all the funds that Rotary make go into a fund where they're allocated yeah. by the different committees. Yeah, yes, and yeah, and many part is it's a quite a good money money spinner, well, it isn't is. it? It's, yeah, it'll be as good as probably better than <laughs> car boots are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but um. But it also provides an entertainment, and it's lovely there now at the at the park, isn't it? Because you've got the other uh, one of our other Rotary projects, which is the Little Ease um, Bike Park. Yeah, the bike. Park, and yeah. now we got the skate park and the kids' own playground, which we had something to do years ago too, didn't well, we? Well, they helped build it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Designed it and built yeah. it. <coughs> yeah, still maintain it. Yeah. Yeah. it. yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So it is a, a wonderful sort of um, area for oh, for people, isn't gosh, it? Yeah, you've got the park lake and the, and the cafe in the park and sports ground, cricket ground. Yeah, yeah. And you've got the sta- uh, swimming pools just over the road. Mm. And you've got the stadium there as well. Mm. Yeah, it's certainly um, yeah. certainly a great place. And also, um, now there's bikes there, isn't there? Bikes for yeah. hire. Yeah, yeah is, is that very popular or not? Well. Since we've had, uh, since the Rotary Club have been running it from the first week of December, um, we haven't pushed the bikes mm. because the students who have been in there as our uh, manage or yeah front of pe- front of office people mm. weren't too happy about doing the bikes. Mm. So we just left it. If one of us was there, we would do the bikes, but. Um, yeah, and to be fair, there hasn't been a great demand or for the bikes. No, I suppose these days most people have got their own bikes, haven't they? Or well, not. people, yeah, yeah, the ones we've given them to have been out of town. People, yes, so yeah. some, some have rung up and asked if there's bikes available. So we've we've catered for them, but not just for anyone just turning up. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And that it, that bike thing is going to be a bigger turnover in a shorter time I think to be fair how many bikes are there there's 10 oh really yep. yeah and there's, Bearing there's sizes. bikes for kids isn't there too yeah yeah, yeah. and there's a little trailer for J- little Jimmy Johnny on the back <laughs> oh really yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. have you used them because you're, you're a bike bikey aren't you yeah I am but I haven't I don't need to use one no no, no and what, how but they can take them Right out around the town for... Well, uh, they're given a map of all the, the bike trails. Yeah. And they can just go off wherever they like. 
out. They can just use the main road if they want to, or side roads, or and then they can, if they want to, they can go up and down the uh, river banks mm. where all the bike trails are. Yeah, down to Henley Lake and yeah. yeah, Henley Lake, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah. And so going back to when it, it started the what forty four years ago. That, so that was um, not long after Marston South. Became a, a separate club, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Haven't we had well, 50 it must have odd been a separate club? Otherwise, blood. Yeah, we just had our fiftieth. We had our fiftieth not so long ago, a couple of years yeah. ago. So it wasn't Around long after that, that, was it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So people with a bit of imagination, yeah, got that started. Yes, yes. I think that was the same with the um, the little bike track too. Someone had seen that, John. Bunny, oh, I yeah. think it's seen that somewhere else, and yeah, he saw it down in the hut somewhere, and then one, I think, one in Hastings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's so it's really, really good. Um, so when will when will this sort of thing start happening? Do you think? Uh, we hope to appoint a new manager <coughs> in the in the short period, mm. and then we'll have to work in with that person. Yeah. And then, um, but the gardens won't be too difficult because we can get, uh, I don't know, eight or ten Rotarians in there, mm. dig and pull and shove, mm. throw all the rubbish out, put in new soil, new this. Mm. And then uh, our plant guru <laughs> will, yeah. will, um, will be able tell to, us what to plant. Put in there. Yeah. 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 And I think if we do it in two or three stages, and so that we get it all done over say a month. Yeah. I don't I didn't wouldn't envision it doing, being done all in one day or one week. No, no. There's gonna be quite a bit of work to do with some hoary old plants that need to come out. Yeah, yeah. So um it's at the moment is it still in operation, the um mini, mini pub? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, at the moment we're only open on weekends. Yes. Um and the students are still running it on the weekends. Mm-hmm. And to be fair, that it's been great for them because they're very good at working a FPOS machine. Oh, yes, I was going to say, but how, do, how does everyone pay? So there is definitely FPOS. Oh, there's FPOS, and yeah. uh, that would be about uh, four-fifths of our, our income. income yeah. And then you, some people still pay by cash. Mm. But um, these kids have been absolutely fantastic. Mm-hmm. And we... Uh, three of them we had to well actually Paul Joblin organised them into uh, getting them IRD numbers paying them doing their PAYE mm. getting them set up into uh, KiwiSaver oh that's good oh, yeah. Yeah. So they're all in yeah. KiwiSaver now yeah yeah. so no it's been fantastic it's really good isn't it yeah. Yeah. yeah and on April the 1st if they're still working on the weekends they get a pay rise Oh, of course. <laughs> and are they um, are they college students or university students? College students. College yeah. students. Yeah. 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 Uh, all sitting NCA exams and things. They're, yeah. yeah. They're all exciting kids to be yeah. uh, having or being around. Yeah. And I suppose with um, mask wear the, at the moment, is it, uh, are they made to wear masks? And uh, they when they first start in the office, they are. But we've got. A new big screen, something like this over here, mm. where they they're in behind it. Oh yes, yeah. And everything just goes in underneath the underneath that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And what about the people who come? Do they have to? They've got to uh, vac uh, vaccination pass. Yeah, vaccination pass. They all yeah. all have to be taken. Yeah. Yep. And they then they wear their mask when they're doing the no no because no, it's outside, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Not many. One or two arrive with their masks on, and then they see that everyone else has got theirs off, and they quietly slip it away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gosh, oh well, it's all go. It sounds like it's going to be really good. So it, it it's probably not open as much during during winter, is it? No, but no. Um, they try to keep it open in weekends, mm. fine weekends. So, but it's up to the manager of the what hours and what yeah, days and what, and what they do. want to do. Yeah. Mm. And we can tell how it's gone by just checking the old financials that have come in. Yes. Because they come in every month. Yeah. And you can tell which months have been fantastic. And like February this year, 
Yeah, I, I heard that. That was brilliant, yeah, wasn't it? Not even. No, no. Was it February or January was really huge, wasn't it? January was huge. Yeah. But February was a dud, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> well, it was a little bit like um, car boot. Car boot. Oh, car boot, not allowed to call it that. Sunday market. Yeah, oh, yeah. we'll get on to that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's really good. And your position, are you... You're sort of OC at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, I'm the coordinator, mini, mini mm. coordinator. Mm. Have to see that everything happens. Mm. Which <laughs> <laughs> bit of a big job. Well, it, well, since we've had to take it over and uh, yeah, do it we did December, it's been monumentally large. Yeah, yeah. And to be fair, I couldn't have done it without Marilyn Hunt mm. um, stepping into the breach and getting the uh, the students organised. Mm. Mm. Because. I, I, tell you the, the day we had to take it over the John Murray and I was in the office and we thought well what are we going to do now and suddenly there was four three adults and a school teacher uh, from Carterton with 24 kids oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> we looked at the FPOS machine <laughs> looked at one another and said well we're going to have to work our way through this. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it worked, yeah. Yeah, gosh. So that was the first, that, very first day. Yeah, my word, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's, really, that's really excellent. I think it's going to be, um, it's going to be such another um, great facility for, for Masterton. And like as that. I say, when you've got um, the money that comes in, it can then go to, um, you know, the, the different projects that we sponsor around oh, exactly. the place. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's wonderful. Yeah. We have had some amusing times. Oh, tell us about them. Yeah. Well, the first day I did it myself, it was a Sunday, and I looked out the course and I thought, oh, good, everyone's gone. So I went way down to the road, got the sign, dragged it back, put it in our little office, tidied everything up, locked the gate into the mini putt, just mm. walking down the, the walkway back to the street, looked over and there's three people still on the course. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I locked them in. Have I you locked, locked them in? in say, yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> so I had to go back quietly, unlock the gate <laughs> and let them in. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, I let them out, sorry. Yeah. But they took a quarter of an hour. So oh did they? Oh gosh. Yeah, and they were having a, two adults and one child. There's some quite tricky um, um, holes on that on that course, oh, isn't yeah. there? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's not easy. No. Mm, no. We might make them worse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have uh, been to some um, over in England when, with my nephews, nephew and niece there, and they have some amazing sort of things where you go through um, windmills and, you know, yeah. and, or pirate boats or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But these are a little bit less than that. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mickey. And okay. um, we'll just perhaps have a little bit of a break now and um, then we can talk about what used to be the car boot um, sale but now has become the Sunday market. Right. So we'll just have a bit of a... I, it's, um, it's Johnny Cash Friday, so I thought, well, let's have a little bit of Johnny Cash. And, no and one that I thought might be useful at the moment, Peace in the Valley. I think we need it. <laughs> Here's one of my favourite songs. And the message of love and peace to so no one. Well, I'm tired and so weary, but I must go along till the Lord comes and calls, calls me away. Oh, yes, and the morning's so bright, and the Lamb is the light, and the night, night is as black as the sea. Oh yes, and there'll be peace in the valley for me someday. Peace in the valley for me, dear Lord, I pray. There'll be no sadness, no sorrow, no trouble. I see there'll be peace in the valley for me.
the bear will be gentle and the wolf will be tame and the lion shall lay down with the lamb oh yes and the beast from the wild will be led by a little child and i will be changed from this creature that i am thank god and there'll be peace in the valley for me someday peace in the valley for me dear lord i pray there'll be no sadness no sorrow no trouble i see there'll be peace in the valley Well, that was Peace in the Valley. And um, Mickey, just to get a lovely snapshot of you, I will be very, very quiet and hopefully you could say something about how wonderfully you, you spoke about the mini putt so we can see whether you're coming over on the on the, on the Wairapa TV. Well, I will say that I, I've enjoyed every minute of the time that I've been involved in the mini putt. And I'm actually very grateful that John Waddington asked me to become a Rotarian simply because I could have ended up as a doorstop in a cabbage in town doing absolutely diddly squat. So I've enjoyed every minute of it. And I think it's something that people who are busy in their lives prior to not retiring but move or refocusing, that's when you should be making decisions about how you help the community around you. Yeah, I think that's true because in, um, I mean, we've got a lot of people in the club, haven't we? What have we got, 60-something, yeah. 60 now? Yeah, yes. And there's a wide range of um, careers or ex-careers, isn't there? Yeah, yeah correct. Yep. And that's the beauty of the club, that you've got a diversity of talent Albeit, um, even though I say they're slightly older people, but their talents are still very evident. Yes, that's what I've found with it too. Now, Dick, welcome back again. Um, by the way, you you are listening or and watching uh, ro um, Rotary Matters, and it's the Masters and South's turn this week. We are going to talk about something that used to be called Car Boot Sale, which is the Sunday um, market. So how far back do you know anything about how it started and where it was? Yeah, well, uh, <clears throat> I have also done some research and it, um, another idea that came from overseas because John Bunny was in, in the UK in 1994 and he noticed all these car boot sales all around the district and how popular they were over there. So he came back here and managed to persuade his... Um, fireside meetings, uh, his little committee, that perhaps we should start one here. And after a bit of persuasion, uh, they set up in what was then the Horseshoe Car Park. Uh, it started off very slowly. The first two or three few weeks, there were only three stall holders. So <laughs> How long ago was that? Do you know? It was day? in the summer of 1995. Um, but um, by March of that year, there were 20 stalls. And um, the following year or two, the, um, food, uh, the vegetable truck from the other coast, the market gardener, came across with his vegetables on the truck. And that proved to be, that gave it a real boost because a lot of people came in and bought their weekly vegetables all nice and fresh from, from him. Um, it was originally they decided to close during the winter. It was only a summertime thing. But the storeholders, they just they carried on and, and organised it themselves during the winter. So after that, um, the club decided, well, it's going to be a 12 months of the year. We'll keep going right through, seeing everyone was so keen. But after a few years, the um, licensing trust decided to open the bottle store on Sundays. 
and they decided that perhaps um, the um, car boot sale, as it was then, should perhaps find somewhere else to go. So that's when they moved down to the present site on the corner of Essex and Chapel Street. Uh, it was run on a sort of informal basis, but in 1998 the, um, a roster was drawn up, as it is now, with two Rotary members um, in charge every Sunday morning. Uh, it's um, $7 uh, for, for a storeholder to set up. Very cheap. It's pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap. Um, it runs from 7 in, the mor 7 in the morning till 12 midday. But people arrive there at half past five from then on to set up to, to um, get their chosen spot. Uh, we've got, apart from the vegetable truck, which is the big, the big draw, we have people selling plants, eggs, cakes, preserves, compost, crafts, books, records, tools, and a few um, takeaways like Chinese dumplings. Sometimes there's a coffee uh, cart there. Sometimes there's a busker providing music, which is good. So just at the moment, uh, um, we're having up to 50, peop 50 stalls there, and it's ticking over quite nicely. Hmm, it's going well. It's really good, isn't it? And that's in the new, um, where they've redone, because we had been shifted. It's all we? we had to go back to the um, Farrier's car park for a mm. few weeks while they resurfaced the, uh, the, the old site, but it's, it's a very good venue now, yeah. Mm. Um, <clears throat> had a bit of a had a bit of a change of plans with the COVID regulations. You, can you talk, perhaps, you know, run us through what are the protocols there? Yeah, everyone, it's it's treated as a retail outlet. Um, so everyone must um, uh, wear a mask, uh, sign in, but they don't have to produce a vaccine pass unless they're buying food to eat on the premises. And if they buy food to eat on the premises, they've got to go to the designated area which is marked off and eat their food there <laughs> they cannot eat their food within the market like walking around like or walking around mm. if, if they're taking food home like cakes preserves or jams or what that's fine but if they're going to eat it they can't eat it there because that means they've got to take their mask off you see mm. has Tricky. has that put off people selling um, i know that people were selling um food items yeah. you know to to eat the last time i was there has it has that put seem them to, no, no. no they still seem to be there yeah yeah but um yeah you get a few funny looks when you tell people you can't eat here you've got to go over in the mm. corner and eat mm. there yeah mm. so um the so you could you've got room for about 50 well we could, we, or could you have more yeah, we could have more. Uh, we sometimes spill out into the, the car park, the public car park area. We sometimes spill out into that area, uh, especially before Christmas when it was really busy. We had um, a lot more stalls then. Yeah, so there's there's room for everyone, really. Is, is Yeah. Mm. Mm. And do you have people who've got their own designated yes. sites and who want, uh, I won't even sort of... No, yes, say that, yeah. anyone who turns up sh uh, should just check that out. There is, I've given most of them a list of um, which the, the sites are all numbered, um, which sites are, are booked. Uh, so <clears throat> they've just got to steer clear of those here, yeah, but th they'll soon be told where to go. <laughs> yes, but there's plenty of spare spaces. That, there's only a few of them have been uh, reserved. Yeah, <clears throat> so that's that's not a problem. Wouldn't, shouldn't put anyone off coming. Why was it changed to Sunday Market? Do you know? Uh, Do you know, Mickey? No, I think I, it sounded I can't answer a, bit, that. a bit more sophisticated than just a car boot sale. <laughs> I, don't, I think that I really... They just sound, uh, seem to think it might sound better. Hmm. I think you'll find that most of the markets are called Sunday Markets around New Zealand, not just car boot sale, because that was probably a term of 30 or 40 years ago. And now, as Dickie Dick said, we're slightly more sophisticated now. And 
mm-hmm. who've gone up to a Sunday market. And it's not all people with just opening their car boots. Some have um, awnings up and tables mm-hmm. and, yeah, and take up a couple of sites. Some of it's, it's, it's more than just um, opening your boot up. So, yeah, it's a proper market now. Are you trying to get more um, craft-type, you know, people who've got crafts, or is it more just um, second-hand and um, food and and, plants? Yeah. um, Well, we we welcome anyone that comes, but, um, yeah, it's mainly mainly food, uh, crafts, yeah, books, tools, yeah, second-hand... Yeah, a lot of bric-a-brac, mm, mm. Um, necklaces. Uh, I see there's a whole, whole um, uh, lot of dolls someone's made, you know, there's about 20 or 30 dolls for sale. There's, there's little ceramic things and, yeah. Mm. Yeah, a, a big variety, yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, you wouldn't want to turn anyone away because they, no, no. they can take up a space <laughs> they, and they're alongside someone else and... You're selling something, and they suddenly start looking at the next one, <laughs> and the next one. Yeah, the um, the lady that sells fresh eggs, she's very popular. She sells out every time. She's mm. Mm, mm. yeah, farm farm produced eggs. Yeah, mm. yeah, mm. That's, that's really good. And what about the um, plants? Because that used to be a big. Um, Money spinning. Yeah, it used to be the Lansdowne um, Nursery used to mm. be there, but th- there's um, two or three other smaller uh, people that sell plants. Yeah, mm. seedlings, uh, vegetables, uh, flower flower seedlings. Yeah, mm. and all good value, of course. Yeah, and look look pretty good quality. Yep. And I know that over the last um, couple of weeks or so, there's been a um, bit of a problem with the weather. What happens when you when it rains, Dick? Is well, it? normally the um, we do keep going because it's usually a bit showery or it might be a bit miserable, but people will put up with that. But these last three weeks, there's <laughs> just no way. It's just been torrential. People have t- one or two turned up. They just turned around and went back home again. <laughs> it was just not on, except the the, the 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 vegetable truck. He still comes no matter what. So, um, but he, even he was late the other night because uh, uh, the other morning because there were um, slips on the part of a track and he couldn't get through or something. So, <clears throat> but he supplies a lot of the um, cafes, which I didn't realise. Uh, mm. A little trolley and he pushes his vegetables around and supplies the cafes around town. Mm. So he has to come every time. Mm. But it was just too wet and we waived all the fees and said no, no. <clears throat> which was a shame because um, missed out on a bit of revenue there. Mm. So the revenue again from that, it's it's a, it's a good money maker, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, we're doing around $400 a week, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's pretty yeah. good, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Mm. And then that goes into our fund. So, I mean, if we talk about what we've actually provided funds for just recently... Um, I'm thinking about Colombo Courts and what Correct. else, do, Mickey? Do you? I'll have to go into the memory bank. Um, oh, it's the refugees we've given them. Yeah, oh, yes. refugees. Now, now that's something, isn't it? Yep. Because um, the two refugees families that are here, yep. we have been providing some of the um, equipment for their houses, haven't we? Correct. Um, any item that people normally use in their own homes um, we, we were asked to if we had one a spare one, like an electric jug some people have got two electric jugs you only need one you could give them that or toasters or even um, clothing that we're in summer now but they're going to need winter clothing so people are giving jackets warm jerseys and the like which is good, because mm. if we all went through our wardrobes, we could probably easily do two or three families without noticing where it had gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would think so. Yes, true, true. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, so that's been that's been something that's been um, just recent, more recently, isn't it? The 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 funding yeah, for that, but also um, were we providing something for that the house in? No, perhaps not the the house for the more for homeless people in Masterton. No, I'm not sure whether that no, was part of the no. community project or not. No, I don't think so. No, no. But the other thing that we have also been providing for is um, is the polio um, um, end polio now too. Now, did you go on the train? The no, train journey no, last, no. last did you know something about that? When I know only that the people who went on the train had a very good time. <laughs> <laughs> well, they well managed themselves. <laughs> I just have just got this the um, Rotary Down Under and it's just about it's since um, 1979 uh, when we first started the in polio now that They've now eradicated it in um, everywhere except in Afghanistan and Pakistan is still a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought there was one country in... In uh, Syria? Uh, no. No, Southern Africa, or somewhere in Africa, but no, I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But that, well, it's going to be difficult to get it out of Afghanistan and Pakistan. Pakistan. Mm. Yeah, because they, they were, and also, um, hopefully it doesn't, it's nowhere else, you know, but it's just, it, it's interesting that that's sort of a, again, it's a vaccination, and we're all in the middle of vaccinations and everything too, but also there's another um, Pacific lot of vaccinations that, that the uh, Rotary Clubs have been doing too. Correct. Yeah, which is to do to do with... Um, it's to young girls, isn't it? There's a, I've just got this yeah. thing here. It's uh, cervical cancer. That's right. That's the one. Mm. Yes, mm. yeah, and that's in the Pacific. Yeah. So, I mean, mm. right throughout, um, right throughout the world, actually, Rotary has been doing a lot for that. Oh. Yeah. And also, we are now tr we are now selling um, raffle tickets on behalf of the Welling of the Hut Rotary Club, aren't we? So, have you? Sold your raffle tickets, yes, Dick. No, no. <laughs> Probably end up by buying. Probably buying them myself. myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that. But, um, yeah. So do you know? About to talk, tell us something about that. So that the so that the camera goes off me. So I'm oh, talking just, all the time. <laughs> I know there's a very nice car. His first prize, mm. and I think second prize is a, a weekend in Wellington with 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 two thousand dollars spending money or something, and a rental car. So there's some nice prizes, yeah. Mm. And this, of course, is for the um, Wellington, the Children's Hospital. Correct. And it's the two whānau rooms at the Wellington Children's Hospital, which we've already spent, we've already paid something to that, haven't we? $10,000. Mm. And I think Rotary in total is providing $400,000. Really? Yeah, because yeah, we're nearly... From all the, from all the districts. Mm, and it's yeah. nearly... Done. I yeah, mean, we're nearly through, aren't we? Well, that, that's the reason for the raffle. Mm. Try to get it over the top. Yeah. Close yeah. the gap, yeah. yeah. And so all the... Um, well, it's $100. I mean, it's a book of 10, so it's... Um, $10. $10. A, 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 and I think most of the Rotarians took a, took a booklet. I think so, yeah. 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 So that's, um, that's another thing that we are actually um, really involved with. And just going back to your um, remedial reading, has that started again this year or is well, it, it just a little problem at the moment? It's a problem with COVID again, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't resumed, no. So, um, yeah, th th that's, there's quite a number of Rotary members involved in that, yeah, and they get a lot of satisfaction out of it and they become sort of mentors to some of the, 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 the children that they... Um, help with their reading it's more than just the reading it's it's um mentoring them and talking to them about their lives and what what they're up to yeah hmm. how often do you normally go it's it's once a week yeah hmm. <coughs> when you start at the, uh, at the beginning of a term with the children the hardest part, well not the hardest part the part i found was get you've got to get virtually sort of inside the child as to where he came, comes from, what what his life's like, 
how, how he got getting on with the great mates with anyone around the school. And th there are some difficult times with some children, but that I've, that's what I found the most fulfilling, is that you're chatting to them and finding out about them, and then you can understand why they are not good readers, because some of them have not had a great start in life, which is a shame, really, but we're there to help. Mm. That's right. Mm. Yeah. No, it's great. It's a great thing that, that is done. Also, there's other things with the education, isn't there? Because there's um, the which uh, we was talking about the other night at the club about the intermediate speech contest. Yep, that's which one. Is sponsored by Rotary, our Rotary Club. Yeah. Correct. And the books for babies. Yes, every baby yeah. born in the Wairapa receives a book. Mm, mm. Yep. And then year... Is it year four? Yeah, year four, they all get a dictionary. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's just in the Marston region, isn't it? Marston District, I think. I think, I think that's right, yeah. I yeah. think the other clubs further south do it as well. Does but do it, yeah. 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 But the, um, the dictionary one... So, uh, I heard a comment on the radio, uh, someone uh, talking about dictionaries and Encyclopaedia Britannica, and they had this cartoon up. That is your mother's Google over there, but we have something different. We've just got a thing that we push a button and up comes Google, and it tells you everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, but I still like the, I like my big tomes of books that I can go oh, yeah. and yeah. delve into, I think. Yeah, it's very, it's very quick and easy with Google, isn't it? Yeah, yeah and you get, well, it's easy, but you get many, many variations of the word that you're looking for, and the dictionary might only have two or three, so you doesn't pay, it doesn't pay to compare a dictionary versus Google. No, the the dictionaries are lovely though because they they've illustrated and they they're really oh, the, they're a lovely yeah. book. Oh, the children's ones, though. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So they are they are things that you know that the that the money that we get from those what we've been talking about the two you know the two activities like mini putt and um and the Sunday market. I mean, that's where the money goes yeah, into, it doesn't goes it? Goes back to the community. Goes back into it's the community. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you been involved in any other major things, um, Mickey? Well, you, I, you run you oh, with sort of the things that oh, we've done. Oh, sorry. Yeah, um, the the foundation, the yes. Rotary Foundation, which is part of money raising, so that. We're raising money for the activities that Rotary Clubs do worldwide. And uh, what, four years ago, our Rotary Club did the um, bus uh, to Rarotonga. And to help pay for that, we got money from the World uh, the yeah, Worldwide Foundation, paid us back in US dollars, and we, I think it was $178,000 it cost us to do that bus deal. And I think three quarters of it was paid for by the foundation. So dare I say it to all Rotarians and anyone else who you ought to be part of the foundation, otherwise we couldn't have um, gone to the uh, Worldwide Foundation international if we hadn't been supplying in New Zealand the um, sufficient funds for it to be passed over to um, Rotary International. Mm. Yeah. So every year around about May or June, June, July, you'll hear me stand up and I'll tell the Rotarians that you better dig deep and mm. uh, and it the club pay, pays a, a, a sum of money on behalf of all of us to Rotary International Foundation, but it's far more or far better for everyone 
if we all paid our hundred dollars each year to be a member of the of the foundation, foundation mm. yes, because it, it comes back, doesn't it? Come, we sort of get after reimbursed. Three, it, yeah. After three years, I think it mm. comes back into the 9940, yeah. Mm. Yep. It's interesting, I heard that, that the bus is being used as the vaccination or the, no, the um, testing at the, at the, at at the, the airport in, yep. in, in Rarotonga. Yep. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, so well, they, they probably didn't have a space at the airport to have that a... they could do it? No. Yeah. No, so that has been used for that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And it's got two doors in it. You can go in, you <laughs> test it. It doesn't get, go out, out the other side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was, a, it was an amazing thing. And also, too, um, just getting back to, to uh, education, I mean, we the money also goes to the scholarships that we provide for the... Um, the students to go on different scholarships, um, RILA and RIDER and the science and the technology science, yes. scholarship. Um, yeah. Yep. yeah, and also that students can apply for money from Rotary for whatever project that they are um, immersed in at the time. And I, two or three of them have come back and spoken to us after they'd done their project or whatever. They were neat kids, mm. and they, yeah, they, they. I enjoyed that the club had given them the money. Yeah, and it's really satisfying, isn't it? That yeah. they, that mm. you know that the money is going towards that. That's really. <clears throat> they always come back and give a report to the yeah. to the committee, which is or to the. the we had someone just club. recently who'd um, who'd been and and also sent a letter too, didn't? It's yeah. a girl. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, uh, the letter was read out. It was very, very... No, no, we could go up and read it. It was a beautiful letter. It was, yes. yeah, I remember yeah. that, yeah. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Um, that's been really good. Um, and I'm sorry that, that um, you didn't always get your wonderful selves on, on and I know you, you've, you've scrubbed up so well for your... <laughs> <laughs> to be on my rapper TV, and I'm very sorry that my hums and haws might have sort of taken away from um, from what you've been, um, what you should have been being looked at. But um, anyway, thank you very much. And you've been listening to Rotary Matters. Now, Rotary Matters is on the first Friday of the month, and it's uh, repeated again on the Saturday, the first Saturday. And each um, month there's a different one of the um, four Rotary clubs in um, the Wararapa who um, come and do a program. So I'd really like to thank you guys very much for um, <coughs> coming along. No and, trouble. Um, no. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for inviting us. Yeah, it's good to <laughs> and get it's, the message out. Well, it is. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Because I, I often think that people don't always know just, just what exactly is, is going on. And um, with Rotary, I mean, people say, oh, it's all those old people, but there's an awful lot of things, that are, particularly around Masterton, that have been um, instigated and started mm, and yeah. provided money for from, from the Rotary, yep. our Rotary Club. Well, there's two Rotary Clubs in Masterton, and, of course, Masterton South was a, um, a spin-off from, um, from the Masterton Club. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, mm. but uh, and there's then there's Carterton, and there's South Wairapa too, and of course South Wairapa um, do their big fundraising with the Martin Bar Fair, which hopefully will take place sometime this year. Yeah, yeah, they've yeah. they've been a bit short of funds <laughs> lately. Yeah, <laughs> yes, because they haven't been able to. Um, no, no. Mm. so hopefully that will all go um, to plan. Uh, you know, later on. In the year. Anyway, this is um, I'm Marilyn, and I am wishing you all a safe and healthy weekend. And may we keep the um, peace in the valley for a while, and um, keep the the viruses and everything else out of the valley. So thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.